Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Phenom SG210 sparring gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Phenom SG210 sparring gloves. I got mine in 16 ounces of Velcro in this sangria colorway, which is basically maroon. Um, you can get this anywhere between 12 and 18 ounces as well as in white, black, and blue. So four colorways, several sizes, and two types of closures. Now, I did a review a while back on the lace-up version of the SG210s. I was really impressed by them, um, so I really wanted to try these Velcro ones out. Uh, these are considered a sparring glove, which they do make a great sparring glove, but to be honest with you, these are really a great training glove overall. The gloves are full genuine leather construction. They are manufactured in Pakistan, and Phenom, if you're not familiar with them, is a UK-based brand. Now, looking at the glove, you can see it does have a pretty classic look to it. It doesn't have overly crazy graphics on it. Um, it does have a very uh, simplistic logo that has the P for Phenom on the back of the glove. You also have the Phenom that is embroidered and stitched into the four inch Velcro strap, which is really a nice. But outside of that, really that's the only uh, logos you're gonna see on this glove, which I personally prefer. Now that's obviously completely up to the person that's purchasing these gloves and using them, but I do like the fact that they don't over uh, saturate the glove with different you know different designs and and their logo so i do like that um, so you'll notice the leather itself has a really nice texture to it <clears throat> a little bit on the smoother side and it has uh, almost like a satin almost sam semi-gloss finish to the leather itself they use multi-layer foam padding over the knuckle area which lends itself to be a little bit more on the medium to softer density side um, and it's really nice in terms of protecting yourself and your sparring partner when you do use this because it's not overly stiff but it's also not too soft to where you feel your knuckles sink right through and land right on your, your sparring partner. So I definitely like that. Now, coming down here you do have a standard velcro strap. There's nothing too crazy about this. Uh, pretty ordinary in terms of velcro that you see on the vast majority of velcro gloves you also have this really nice smooth tricot liner that phenom uses in their gloves I'm a big fan of that uh, 16 ounce weight tag uh, as well as the model number and the manufacturer you also have e the elastic piece right here for the inner palm that keeps the piping together you also have a, a leather attached thumb uh, being that it's designed to be a sparring glove, it's really important that you don't have uh, the thumb stick out too far, especially when you create a fist, um, that the thumb doesn't stick out and create any thumbing issues. Uh, the grip bar itself is pretty large, which I definitely like, and you can feel it has kind of a medium density. It's not overly stiff, but not too soft to where you push down on it and it just goes flat. Uh, ventilated holes on the palm as well as on the thumb as well. So overall, a really nice looking glove. I'd say the profile on this is uh, about medium in terms of the width, but it is kind of a longer cuffed glove and when you put it on you'll you'll see what I mean when I put it on that the glove kind of drops down a little bit further. Uh, the quality on these gloves are are beautiful. I mean, I, I haven't really found any flaws with these. The leather looks great. The stitching on it looks really nice. You know, the areas typically where you see corners being cut or, or just the attention to detail is not there. You can definitely tell they took their time with making these gloves. The edges all look really clean. The double stitching pattern looks nice and tight. <clears throat> the area where the elastic is stitched into, that looks good. All the holes are punched out of the leather. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Sometimes I get gloves uh, and even boxing shoes that have the holes punched out and they don't you know, clean them out. So there's a little bit of leather still left in there. Um, and you can see that there. The gloves are almost exactly on point with weight. So both gloves are identical at 15.8 ounces, which is great. Uh, so pretty much at 16 ounces is a very well balanced glove as well. I'll show you guys the inner portion of the glove. You have about a half inch of soft uh, foam right here against your hand, but then on the back side for the wrist support, it's definitely more of a stiffer density foam and maybe a, a quarter of an inch on the inside that goes up to right about here on the thumb and tapers down. You also have that padding that goes up to right about here where this top horizontal stitch is at where it kind of arches over. Um, but you can see it's a very well balanced glove exactly on weight. So I can hold it at the bottom of the glove, I can hold it at the top. 
and you don't get that floppiness that you typically see with some of the cheaper gloves, especially at this joint right here uh, where that transition is at. So I definitely like the fact that they are definitely on weight and they're very well balanced. Comfort wise, sliding your hand into the gloves. Another big feature and a thing I love about Phenom is they, they always put comfort as a priority with their gloves, at least from all the gloves I've tried with Phenom, I haven't had a glove that was uncomfortable. Um, so you slide your hand in here, you can see that the cuff is definitely on the longer side right here. The Velcro strap feels good. Uh, the finger, par finger compartment is nice and deep and it has a fairly broken in feel, which I love. The thumb is perfect. Uh, the actual the piping right here on the fat part of your thumb isn't too tight even with hand wraps on and the thumb is deep enough to where it doesn't jam and you can also see when i pull my hands or should i say when i make a fist and i pull my fingers down it doesn't pull on the tip uh, where the attached thumb is at so you don't have to worry about the thumb kind of collapsing down onto the tip of your thumb and giving you kind of disc any kind of discomfort um, the width of the finger compartment is perfect it's not too narrow and not too wide um, and they do a nice job of putting um, some of that liner <clears throat> and it almost feels like a, a, a kind of like a bunched up piece of liner a neoprene that goes over the stitching right here so you don't have to worry about the stitching on that um, so i definitely like the feel for that and yeah overall i mean the comfort's definitely there uh, no issues with your thumb going numb no issues with your fingers going numb uh, everything's really really good Protection and performance wise, this is definitely a protective glove for both you and your sparring partner. The consistency of the foam over your knuckles is really perfect for sparring. And yes, you can definitely use this for the mitts, hitting the bag, really everything in the gym. So this makes a great training glove in my opinion. Um, if you are gonna dedicate these gloves to sparring, I would recommend going with the lace-up version. The Velcro is good too. Uh, the one thing I do like is that you have that Phenom that is embroidered on and there's no sharp edges. There's no like a plastic patch right here. So um, you could probably still put some tape over that to tape it off, but it is pretty soft and smooth and I don't foresee yourself having any, any issues with uh, any kind of cuts or scuffs. Um, the piping right here too is, is pretty soft and rolled over and rounded so you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, but you definitely get a good uh, feeling of landing your punch with these gloves, whether it's your sparring partner's face or a punching bag. Um, and I'd say that it's right there in the middle in terms of being balanced. It's not a puncher's glove. It's not overly protective like a, a bag glove that has gel infusion, that has uh, another type of foam like D3O where it's much more stiffer or EVA. It's right there in the middle in my opinion, which makes it a really good sparring and training glove. Now cost wise, these gloves are 194 US dollars. Um, I forgot the conversion rate for uh, British pounds, uh, but it just depends on where you live and what kind of currency exchange rate you're using. But they're about $194, uh, which is a pretty good price considering the quality is top notch on these, the comfort's there. Um, I like the aesthetics of it, they look really nice. Uh, pretty much a, a great all around performing glove. Uh, I feel like the market's getting pretty saturated in that $150 to $200 price range, and there are a lot of great gloves. So you're, you're really closing the gap in between uh, brands as well as models that are made by these brands. So it's making it really hard uh, for most people, including myself as a reviewer, to really say these are better or worth it more than the others just because it's so minuscule in terms of the gap in quality, comfort, the kind of liners, the foams are used, the quality overall is just is really fantastic. And that's a great thing because competition helps everybody else elevate their level of quality of the, the equipment they're making so you're not just getting uh, junk for a really high price. So I uh, definitely think these are great gloves. Um, you know, the lace up version I would readily recommend for those of you that are dedicated to just sparring. Um, if you live by yourself or you train by yourself and you want to use these, I would recommend going with the Velcro version that you both you get both but with both gloves, you get great performance and you won't be disappointed in my opinion. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Phenom SG210 sparring gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.